Oh man, so listen, every community, every community needs ambassadors. That's like people that see down the aisle and understand like, hey, you got to understand those folks' perspective if you want them to understand your perspective so everybody can have a perfect union in this whole situation. So what's going on today is somebody that's a part of the trans community, this a wild ass shit. We're going to talk about it. And somebody else that's part of our community, shut their ass. And it made perfect sense. So we're going to talk about all that right now. Smash the like button, subscribe. If you're new to my channel, it's your boy Stacy. Let's get right into it. So what's going on is Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates is um someone that when I heard this story, this is my first time looking at the full thing. But when I heard this story, I'm like, okay, I wouldn't be surprised hearing about this in regards to something being involved with Kevin Gates. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. But if Kevin come out and say this ain't true, Hey, it's not true. Hopefully, you know, whatever the truth is, does come out. But let's check this out. Once again, this person gonna get checked. So hold on for that part. But let's check this out and we get right to it. I'm not like, so he came and he was like, let's go to dinner. And I was like, okay, just like text me where. Like kept it really cool. Um, and he sat down, he had like four phones. He was saying like El Chapo was watching me. And I was like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> like cool. He had a El boat. Was a gang or was El No, El Chapo. <laughs> And we were in his car. He was playing me his new album. He was on Instagram live. And in my brain, I'm like, dude, he shows me on live. And I'm like, ugh, I just know one of like the fans from Iowa, like where like, I'm from. That like, is a dude. Yeah, like that's a so male. Okay. <laughs> um, and it was just one of those situations where I almost felt like I was like at like lunch with my, or like in trouble with my principal. Mm -hmm. Like I felt like he was literally looking so deep into like my soul and my like nine different holes that like I didn't even know what I was getting into. I tried caviar for the first time. That was cute. Mm -hmm. it, it was hot. He asked like, "Do you want to come home with me?" He was kind of just like get in my car. And they just—I mean, that's how they, that's how they always you are. No, you don't—they don't ask. You go. No. Yeah, you just go. go. You just follow the rules. And I, I don't know. He's all about like energy, like ashwagandha, yeah. like the whole fact. And I told him I was trans, like mid, like spread eagle, like t flap scars and all. Like I literally. How did you like? How did like? How did you bring that? Honestly, up? Like, I was mid just like, what? Yeah. yeah. I was like, I'm so no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Oh my god, you guys kill me. <laughs> um, but no, I was literally, I'm not kidding, like spread eagle. I think he was like eating me out or something, and then in my brain, he like stopped, and I'm like, oh, oh he, he knows my looks different. Like, <laughs> like I was like, oh, what's yeah, about to happen? No he was like, yeah, no, <laughs> he's not out of breath that quick. Let me get this man an oxygen tank. Um, but he was like can I ask you something? And I go, yeah? And he was like, well, are you trans? And I go, you I, and I was just <laughs> like, I was so drunk. Like, like, come like, on. They're like, what makes you see that idea? And I, <laughs> <laughs> and I was laying there and I go, you caught me. <laughs> wow. Wow. Whoa. Like I told y'all, I'm, I'm watching this for the first time with y'all. Whoa. That's the story you want to share the folks. Mm -mm -mm. So without me even saying what I got to say, let's just go to the ally. <laughs> let's go straight to the ally, the ambassador. All right, so we got T.S. Madison. T.S. Madison is a transgender woman, a trans woman that's been very, always been very vocal with um, their stance on certain things, you know, especially when it comes to bridging this gap with understanding. So let's read what T.S. Madison has to say. So. They say if you're trans and you out here running to social media blogs to detail your sexual experiences with celebrity men, I have a question for you. What is the reason? Because you can't claim you're a woman, then sensationalize your sexual encounters for shock value. Don't be the continuous part of the down low stigma men are forced to adhere to surrounding their sexuality. So they say so again i've always stated that there is no safe space on any front for the men to live their authentic lives the women won't accept them the men won't accept them the trans want to out them now that's fucked up i think that's great i honestly i honestly think that's great because what if he just didn't know up until that point truly he, if he asked while in the middle of the act he didn't know that's great in my opinion that should be disclosed and especially if they understand the stigma of not allowing somebody to know that you a former nigga, a former man, you gotta let somebody know that shit. Like, no, that's not cool, dog. That's not cool. I'ma be with my woman forever. Like, I ain't, I know that thing work. I know that thing originated as. <laughs> I'ma be with 
my woman forever because I feel sorry for dudes that's out here maneuvering this world. And especially if they if they radar ain't like mine, cause my my shit be beep beeping. I be knowing I can spot it like a motherfucker. So I feel sorry for y'all because homie think it's a cool thing to be telling the story and and explaining how you didn't disclose until you are in the middle of the act and saying you caught me. So that is showing that you are being mischievous. You understand. That's not cool. That's not cool. You get it. Some people do not want to live their life. Don't trick them into it. Don't force them into it. It's not cool. Give people the opportunity to choose. Who knows? That's Kevin Gates. He may be into that type of shit. Who knows? You give people the opportunity to choose what they want to do, who they want to deal with. Don't just trick them into that shit. That's not cool, dog. But trying to be sensitive about the situation, but it is something to address and talk about, especially when I have opportunity to show both sides of the, the situation with someone holding that community accountable that's from that community. Because if it's just me talking, they can may say, oh, I'm phobic. I'm, I got a phobia or whatever. Like, just because I don't want to have sex with someone doesn't mean it's a phobia. You feel me? Like, women that don't want to get great by men aren't male phobic. Men that don't want to get great by women aren't female phobic. No, we just want to choose. Why you fighting for your rights? Don't take away mine's, okay? But uh, but man, I told y'all, dog. Uh, I'm off the market. I ain't trying to be on the market. Like the market is crazy as hell. But I'm going to get up out of here, though. It's your boy Stacey, and I'll you the reason why, because you, you fucks with me. Hey, I'm out.